U.S. President Joe Biden has pledged more military support for Ukraine, worth 800 million U.S. dollars, stressing that his country would continue to help defend Ukrainians from Russian aggression. That's right. And other Western countries, namely Germany, Spain and Denmark, have also vowed more military aid to Ukraine. For this, Kim Yo-sun has more. Washington says it will send another 800 million U.S. dollars to help Ukraine, the same size as the previous military package announced last week. Today, I'm announcing another 800 million dollars to further augment Ukraine's ability to fight in the east in the Donbas region. This package includes heavy artillery weapons, dozens of howitzers, and 144,000 rounds of ammunition to go with those howitzers. It also includes more tactical drones. The Biden administration also announced that it will ban Russian-affiliated ships from American ports. Other countries are also vowing more support for Ukraine, with the Danish and Spanish prime ministers traveling to the Ukrainian capital. In a meeting with President Zelensky, they pledged to send Ukraine more weapons as Russia steps up its offensive in the country's eastern region. In addition, Germany has reached an agreement with several Eastern European countries, including Slovenia, who will provide all Soviet-made tanks to Ukraine. Berlin will, in exchange, provide those countries with tanks from its own military stocks. That's why we are supporting other uh, partners uh, in a, a circle uh, of exchange, Ringtausche in German, um, to, to see that those uh, partners who are delivering right now out of their stocks, that we will uh, fill the gaps because they can deliver Soviet uh, materials where training is not uh, needed currently. As part of the deal, Slovenia will be sending its M84 main battle tanks to Ukraine. In related news, U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman stressed Thursday that Washington's aim is a strategic failure for Russian President Vladimir Putin and the Kremlin. She added that Moscow was not achieving its goals in its invasion of Ukraine, noting that Western sanctions were partly the reason for that. On the same day, the U.K. announced a new set of sanctions targeting 26, quote, war leaders of Putin. The latest measures are aimed at Russian generals committing atrocities on the front line in Pucha as well as other cities across Ukraine. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.